Prime Minister Narendra Modi and U.S. President Joe Biden will hold a virtual meeting today to review the ongoing bilateral cooperation. They will also exchange views on the recent developments in South Asia, the Indo-Pacific region and global issues of mutual interest. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy today reconstituted the state cabinet, inducting 30 new faces and re-inducting 11 from his first team. Governor Biswabhushan Harichandan administered the oath of office and secrecy to 25 members of the cabinet at a public function near the state secretariat in the capital of Amravati. Two people were killed and several injured after cable cars in a ropeway collided with each other at Trikut Hills close to Baba Bethna Temple in Jharkhand's Diogar district. Rescue operation with the help of two Indian Air Force helicopters is underway. Six workers were killed in a blast which triggered a fire in a chemical factory in Gujarat's Baharuj district. The incident took place around 3 a.m. in the unit located in the H industrial area some 235 kilometers from Ahmedabad. Communal clashes erupted in parts of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand and West Bengal on the occasion of Hindu festival of Ram Navmi. In Gujarat, one person was killed after a clash broke out between two groups during a Ram Navmi procession in Kambad city. As Russia refocuses its war goals on Ukraine's eastern provinces after failing to take the capital, President Volodymyr Zelensky has warned the battle over the breakaway Donbas region will be crucial. Shabazz Sharif was elected unopposed as a new Prime Minister of Pakistan by Parliament today after rival candidate Shah Mahmood Qureshi announced that his Pakistan Tariq in South Party will boycott the voting and staged a walkout. Shabazz, the younger brother of former three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, received 174 votes to more than the simple majority of 172. Makers of Jersey starring Shahid Kapoor and Rinald Thakur has once again postponed the film. The sports drama will now release on 22nd April, making way for the KGF sequel to have a solo release on 14th April. The 21st match of the Tata IPL 2022 will see Sunrisers Hyderabad facing off against Gujarat Titans. Hyderabad and Gujarat have played three matches in this season, where Hyderabad has one win and Gujarat is the only unbeaten team in the tournament.